Hi, I'm Mr. Autumn. Is that good? Yeah. I'm Mr. Autumn, and uh, you know, I just love teaching. My students love me. Um, we always have great discussions in my class. You know, it, it just works. Good morning, class. Before we begin, I'm going to take roll. All right. Uh, Xavier? James? Brandon? Here. Tyler? Here. Michaela? Andy, Ryan, Here. Jonathan, uh, yeah, I wasn't here today, David, oh, present, no one else is here, alright, let's begin, yeah, so Mr. Autumn's a, a really bad teacher, I really hate, hey, Brandon, All right, class. When was the War of 1812? It was your homework for the weekend. Anybody? Anybody else? The War of 1812. Yes, Brandon. Was it 1812? Yes, it was. Why was the War of 1812 fought? Does anyone know? This was also your homework. Anybody else? Tyler, do you have an answer? Um, no. Did you, did you do your homework? No. Ryan? No. I pick, don't, pick me, pick me. Don't pick make me. me separate you two. Pick me, pick me. David? Um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, pass. Alright, so the reasons... I, I, I know. ...for the war, the reasons for the war of 1812, one of the main reasons was the impressment impressment, sorry, the impressment of American troops. You know, some people say teaching's a hard job, but, you know, I'd have to agree with them, because you really just have to reach out and touch the kids, um, and just make the experience as good for them as it, as it is for you, um, by reaching out and touching the kids, making it a good experience. Fought the French Indian War. Yes, Brandon. You spelled fought wrong. There no, should be an I o didn't. Where there's an a. That is an O. That's an A. That is an O. That is an A. Mr. Adam. Yes, David. There's some balloons over there. Um, this definitely an A, not an O. It was my birthday yesterday, and my wife sent those to me on a Sunday. I don't know why she sent them to my office on a Sunday. I didn't get them till today. It's, 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 uh, um, it's distracting. Yes, I hate her too, all right? You shut up. Anyway, who fought the French Indian War? That's an A. Who? Who fought the French Indian War? Thank you. David, can you tell me who fought the French Indian War? Um, uh, uh. Spain? You idiot! It's the French and the Indians. It was actually fought between the British with the Indians, and some <laughs> some of the French helped some of the Indians, and some of the French helped some of the other Indians, and then some of the British helped some of the other Indians. So, pretty much, the Indians were on all sides, and then the French and the British were the ones who were on... Yes, Brandon? Why isn't it called the French-British-Indian War? With, I did uh... not name it. Um, uh, what did the French do again? Uh, he, uh, he's, he's mean, and he calls on me, and, uh, and, um, what do I do with my hand, my hands? You can just leave them down. 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 Uh, um, he's mean, and... Uh, All right, moving on to our next lesson. I'm going to need to split you up into groups. So I don't want you guys working together. So Ryan, you work with David.
Tyler, you work with Brandon. I'm not moving. You can move up here. Oh, really? David, yeah. the, David, move back with Ryan, all right? Okay. Tyler, move up with Brandon. A little slower, gentlemen. Sorry. <laughs> now then, Brandon, I would like you to move back with David and Ryan move up with Tyler, please. Thank you. Brandon, now after that outburst, can you please move back alone? Sit by yourself. <laughs> Make a group of three out of you three. So um, I'm gonna have Ryan you move back to the back row. David move back to the back row. Tyler move back to the back row, please. Wait a minute. I said I didn't want you two working together. Tyler move up to the front, please. Really? Move up to the front, Tyler. My name's Tyler, and. Uh... I hate Mr. Autumn's class. I hate him so much. He's just so short and I hate history. I just hate going to his class. Alright, good. So we have our group. David and Ty David and Ryan back there. We got Tyler up front. Brandon all alone. Alright. Mr. Foster. Mr. Foster. What? Oh yeah, Mr. Mr. Autumn. I hate that guy. Uh he's short, first of all. He, uh, he's kind of fat. He sucks at teaching. And uh, today I just went off on him. I hate that guy. What I want you to do is create an outline. Like a T-chart, maybe. And on, on the left side of your T-chart, I want you to put causes. And then on the right side, I want you to put effects. And the causes are going to be the causes of the War of 1812, and then the effects are going to be what those causes did to affect the War of 1812. Does that make sense to you, idiots? Stupid people? David? Uh, uh, um, um, that's expensive. Alright, so uh, since you guys suck so much at the War of 1812... Oh, we suck. You suck at teaching. I had to go home and I had to complain yeah. to my wife, and she said, All you do is complain. And my wife is terrible by the way. All right? Terrible. Guess what time she has to get up in the morning to go to work? 10. 8.30. Guess what time I have to get up in the morning to go to work? 4.30. I should have picked a different school because I work, th I live three hours from where I work. All right? I have to get up at 4.30, be out of the house by 5, right? And then drive three hours to get here by 8. And then when school starts at 8.30, and I have to come to you guys. I have to do this all day. Thankfully, not all my classes are as stupid as you. You guys are about as stupid as my wife, all right? You know what my wife does for a living? She works at a butterfly pavilion, all right? A butterfly pavilion. She talks about how stressful her life is. What about my life? I work with you guys. You are nothing like butterflies, all right? If anything, you are dead butterflies. But you died as caterpillars before you could get into your little cocoon of comfort and then become a pretty butterfly, you guys were squashed by little five-year-olds as caterpillars, all right? So learn the War of 1812! Yeah, cool story, bro. I'm going to the bathroom. Let's take a pass. No. Is it number one or number two? I just wonder how long we're going to be gone. I'm not coming back. So, are there, are there any questions about today's lesson? Anything anyone like, would like to add? Yes, Ryan. Your jacket looks very nice today. And I like your eyes. They match with it. Thank you. That, th thank you. I, well, thank you. It's the same jacket I wear every day. I'm Ryan, and um, I find um, Mr. Autumn a little cute and handsome, especially when he turns around. And, uh, yeah. Autumn? Yes, David. 
Brandon is sleeping. You're gonna take a little trip to the office. Okay. So get out of my class and go to the office. <laughs> All right, dude. I'll be following up with the people in the office to make sure you were there. As you will. Uh, Mr. Yes, sir. Mr. What did you do in his class today? Nothing. But you must have done something for Mr. Rodman to send you out. I think he's sent me here because uh, he hates me. And that's okay because I hate Mr. Rodman too. You know, son, everybody hates Mr. Rodham in this school. Like me, you need to pretend to like him and listen to what he says in class. Make sure you get the assignments to my desk by tomorrow morning, and we'll be fine. Did you have a good trip to the office? Did you have a good conversation with Mr. Miller? Yes, I did. Good. Good. So, uh, do you think you'll be uh, behaving yourself a little better in my class now? No, I don't. <clears throat> get that assignment to me by tomorrow morning, or you might have to take another trip to Mr. Miller. So, are there any questions about the lesson we had in class today? Yes, David. Uh, what, ha what happened in World War II? You want to hear about World War II, huh? Well, I'll tell you about the World War II that happened in my house last night. My wife came home from the Butterfly Pavilion, and you know what? I saw another woman's lipstick on her neck. My wife is a lesbian. I don't know how I didn't see the signs. That's kind of hot. She asked me to go elk hunting last winter. Winter? I'm not going to go hunting in winter. She likes football more than I do. She's <laughs> always talking about how pretty other women are. She always says, talks about how much she likes other women. I think she likes other... She's a lesbian. My wife. Yes, Ryan? I'm not a lesbian. I remember my first day that I walked into Mr. Adam's class and walked in and saw him in that blazer. I don't know what overcame me, but it's just my favorite class now. I just enjoy it and just love it every second I'm in there. Yeah, I don't know. It's just Mr. Adam. Mr. Autumn's not here. It's 30 minutes. It's actually like 32 minutes after school starts, really. Whatever, dude. Uh, I'm going home. Where, where, where are you going, Brent? Home. So I was a little late to school today. My wife gave me the divorce papers last night. So I needed some time alone this morning to uh, be able to recuperate. Um, but, you know, I know my class will, they'll do what they need to do. They'll get their stuff done in plenty of time. And they'll, you know, they'll be ready and to start the lesson by the time I get there. Hey, Brian. Hey, Mr. Otto. Well, what are you doing? I brought you some flowers. Go to your next class, Ryan. But Mr. O. 